This video is sponsored by House of Ira. More on that later. Good morning, beautiful people. Welcome to a brand new vlog. It's about 6.30 a.m. right now and my husband is currently getting ready for work. But before he comes back in here, I would like to show you guys the unboxing of a special package that we received from Ira. House of Ira is a fragrance brand with a wide selection of luxury fragrance oils. House of Ira ships worldwide with free shipping within the United States of America and a $15 shipping fee outside the U.S. Within Cameroon, they are available at Maison Rose in Yaoundé and at Sparkle Spa in Douala. Visit www.houseofira.com to place an order or just to check them out. Why not? Okay, so... <laughs> well, Nothing. We have two fragrances here, right? One is a male fragrance, the other is a female fragrance. I'm not sure which is which. So open that one. Date night. That is actually the male fragrance. <laughs> and here I have flawless. First impression. Oh, it's a roll-on cap. Same with yours, well. How do you want to test yours? It's nice, it's a light smell, and the only thing is that I didn't expect it to be oil. Oh, but you knew it was an oil, right? Yeah. A perfume oil. Yeah, me too, I didn't expect it to be rolling. I thought it would be something that you, you drop. I prefer it as a roll on. Okay. Oh, hi, we spoke about your, your own, I didn't even speak about mine. So, flawless. It seems like they're all very light, refreshing smells. For the packaging, I really love it. Yeah, I love the packaging as well. You're already ready. Yep. I'll see you out and then I'll start getting ready for the day myself. Alright, so it's 7.20 a.m. Just turned 7.21. Vincent has left for work, so I'm now going to get ready for the day. You pull your hair on the back You know I like it like that. The other girls in the backseat. I just came to buy some water for the house. Um, I haven't showered yet, so I'm going to get ready now. Mm. Oh, guys, remember the mirror that was in my old apartment? It's in my new bedroom now. Um, I'll get ready and do something about this hair. I don't know. Or maybe I should just leave it as is. <laughs> it just looks weird. Like, you know when you're growing your hair out and then your hair gets to that length that you cannot really do anything with it. That's where my locks are. It's just weird. And then I went yesterday and the loctician, she just tried to make some short locks on my mbamba. So, wait, let me show you. <laughs> so look at this one lock here. <laughs> Alright guys, I've just showered and dressed up for the day. My goodness, my face is so shiny. But that's because I use Vaseline on my face. It worked for me as a child. I remember growing up, my mom used to put Vaseline all over our bodies and I hated it so much, especially when I went to boarding school. And I saw that there were other options. As soon as I had the opportunity to start doing my own shopping for school, hmm, I dumped Vaseline, petroleum jelly in general. I started buying lotion. I would literally just go to the market and try to get whatever was the most affordable. Whatever lotion I would buy is what I would use on my whole body, including my face. That was fine for a while. From time to time, I would have problems with my face. But I will quickly just go and get some topical cream from these beauty shops and... 
that will solve the problem. Most of these topical creams had steroids in them. These creams are a good short term solution but they don't really solve the problem at hand. And I also realized that when I would stop using these creams, for example if I go like one month without applying these creams, the problem will come back. So it went on like this for a few years until I went to South Africa. But guess what, while I was in South Africa, my topical cream actually expired. Long story short, with time, this was what I started to look like. This face was once this. I think I made a video about it. I'm going to link this video down below. So I had to go to the doctor. I was panicking so much because it was red and itchy so 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 itchy so once i went and had my consultation the doctor told me that what is going on with my face is dermatitis in other words eczema and um, the main thing is that it normally has a trigger it could be environmental it could be the food that i'm eating and that i'll have to do some work to find out what the trigger is so my face was like that for about six weeks so the doctor told me to focus on things that are hypoallergenic things that have you know minimal or natural ingredients on my face long story short that is how i found my way back to using petroleum jelly on my face you know sometimes when they say mom knows best mom really knows best because this is me who went up down around the world using all different types of things on my face and i ended up having to go back to what my mom originally used to use on me this so i use either this or an aqueous cream but when i looked at the ingredients for petroleum jelly and aqueous cream the ingredients are basically the same so i stopped using soap on my face guys i used to bathe and then use like my bar of soap to wash my face i stopped doing that there's only one thing that i use to wash my face now this another thing that happened is that i found my trigger thanks to the 2020 pandemic <laughs> so what happened is that the lockdown in south africa was extremely strict i remember when i came back to cameroon for holidays during that period um at the end of 2020 i was like you guys are chilling so as we entered the very first lockdown in march of 2020 within the first three weeks of the lockdown i ran out of milk so i stayed i think for two more weeks without milk without consuming any milk or any dairy and guys my face just began to clear up it was like magic after one week without milk that's when i started to notice the changes two weeks later my face was like a baby's butt it was so smooth all the bumps and everything the redness it just disappeared it's like it just melted away that's when i realized that milk is my trigger from time to time i'll use different things on my face just to see what my triggers are i realized that lotion on my face is a trigger milk is a trigger so yeah that's my story and hopefully my hair looks like something presentable now all right everything is well moisturized and there's just one thing left for me to apply so my scent of the day is flawless from the brand ira for the packaging it comes with a roll-on format which i think is very mess free like it's so easy to get this on your body without it spilling all over and it comes out quite generously obviously neck a dash of it on my chest the smell reminds me of a zen environment like a spa a fancy hotel lobby you know those zen environments so first application i'm about to go start working i'm actually going to keep this near me i like how portable it is this is one of the smallest bags i have and it's just so easy to throw this in here and you have your scent of the day with you Hi hey guys, I'm about to have my breakfast. I better not do this on my laptop. I've had too many problems with this laptop. Recently, Vincent and I have fallen in love with this drink, Schweppes. This particular drink has us in a chokehold. So I'll just put my ice in a glass. Guys, 
this. All right. Oh, my thing has finished copying. I'm having some bread and omelette, and then I'm going to add one of these. My goodness, I need to go shopping. We are running out of so many things in this house. When I pass in the street, bag of money in the passenger seat. Simple's been asking for me on the road from the west to the east. Way up, I might never come down, cause the coast racking up the flame mouth. So high, I might never come down, so what? Uh, this is my lifestyle. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Work hard for the car, so that's why it's all tinted. Wait a minute, wait a minute. Had a real late night, woke up with my head spin now Nashville. It's a mad real. I need sunglasses, I need that bill. I like steak food. I'm a cash real. Hi guys, it's already evening. It's about 6.30 p.m. I've been wearing my Lux oil from Ira for about five and a half hours now. In this time, I have worked at my desk, you know, rubbing my hands like this. I prepared my breakfast. I washed the dishes. I can still smell the oil, but it is faint. I didn't want to be too precious about it. I wanted to, you know, go about my day the way I would normally would so this is a real true world experience of the fragrance i found that i really enjoyed the fragrance the most after about one hour of it being on my body and i actually think that in the morning i put on too much of it so after about one hour of having it on it kind of just blended in with my natural sense and um that's my opinion i think i put too much of it rather than putting a lot of it my personal opinion is that a better way to wear it is to put on less but maybe top up after three hours one thing that i didn't do is i didn't go outdoors but i'll be going to town tomorrow so we can test it out again then trying to get a new microphone because I've been having audio problems. I just got this. What's the name of this shop? Koje, Kojikom. I just got this from Kojikom at Karifu Douala Bar. I just want to open it at once and test it. Look at how big my setup has become. Alright, so this is what I sound like with the microphone. Hopefully this improves the quality, the audio. Alright, I have other things to do in town. Bye! <laughs> it's around 3 p.m. I'm at the supermarket. <laughs> I've been out for I think about three hours, so I want to top up my my fragrance, my lux oil. Um, yeah, that's enough. Just a dash. It's okay. I'm in the middle of shopping, but I really love the the pizza here. At spa, so I've. No, I'm body. So I placed an order for pizza. Um, I'll go home with that. I was out of coffee for, I think, about three days. I thought I was going to die. <laughs> I think my pizza is ready. I'm one of those annoying people that would enter the supermarket, refuse to take a basket, and then move around the supermarket with things dropping from their hands, hands full and everything. Let me go check on my pizza. Um, eating that pizza. Hi guys, I'm back home. Sorry, the house is a bit dark. I can't wait to actually settle down and just try to figure out the best settings for the best food. I am so hungry. 
<laughs> so before I left, I started making my bed, but my younger driver came when I was in the middle of making my bed. So I left the bed halfway and I'm going to finish making it now. Pizza is here. It no longer looks as good as it did. It's already 2 5 and I got this pizza around past the So, oh, this pizza has some nice cheese on it. This is food, coffee, and pizza. Oh my god, look what I just did. Excuse me. Oh my god. Alright, so that's that for my coffee. I hope you enjoyed this vlog.